Hey everyone, I'm Darth Bryboy, and please forgive the in and out lens flare if this video isn't going to lag on me, which I hope it doesn't. Anyway, I got a shit ton of Blu-rays that I got throughout the course of February and March. A lot of Blu-rays, a lot of good deals on Amazon, Best Buy, Blue, whatever. I'm meaning to show these to you guys for a while. For the guys who give a shit about these videos, you know who you are. Thanks for watching my useless update videos of uselessness, but they're fun. I enjoy them. So, I'd like to start this off with The Fugitive. Got this for six bucks. It's an early Blu ray release, as you're going to see. Yeah, see that? Yeah, that's real relevant. Well, I got a PS3, so don't give a shit, but it's keep it in there because it's funny to laugh at. Just to know how people call Blu rays back then. Zodiac. Kind of like that. And I've heard this is the best version, if not the only version you can get on Blu ray. So, either way, I'm watching a great David Fincher movie. It's number I, I forgot I had this for a minute because I got so many movies. And yeah, you thought the collection of 2014 was big. You motherfuckers ain't seen nothing yet. John Wick. I've heard it's Keanu Reeves' swan song. I've heard it's a great film. I can't wait to marathon this with my friend. I might start doing uh, recordings of, you know, me and my friends watching films, uh, or like some snippets of our reaction, if you guys are interested in that. If you're not, I understand. Hey, this is a comic bag. I almost forgot. I, I love, by the way, I bloody love the discard on this. It's Perfect on every level. Um, this movie is probably a good time, a really good, great time at the, at the movies. And um, speaking of which, I got a new setup video to do at some point. And then I got to figure out where these movies go, um, which is going to be mildly annoying, but yeah, whatever. Figure it out as I go along. Next, we've got Whiplash, You Reviewers Award winner of 2014. Probably a masterpiece of a film. And. Oh, uh. Funny bit of trivia that you guys may not know. J.K. Simmons was in my ex girlfriend's, uh. Make a Wish Foundation's film. And I almost got to meet him. And if I met up, I would say, Holy shit, it's J. Joe Jameson! Even though people would look at me like I'm a lunatic and you go, seriously, kid. I don't know, maybe you get a good laugh. Sure. I think he has a good sense of humor. Probably why he was in the Spider Man film. Hiro Miyazaki Classic. Uh, this was not nominated for Best Animated Film. This is certainly a loaded package of a movie, though. Got a Blu ray. Got another. Got a two disc DVD edition. Uh, DVD 1, DVD 2. And I'm, I'm starting to get a decent an size anime collection, I think. Um, it's not going to really show that much now, but it's showing. I actually got this, which is pretty great. Just still haven't seen. Gotta watch it sometime. Yeah, I just want to make sure this is in order the way that I can put it on the shelf um, more easily. I'm just, I hate when I, the only problems when I do these types of videos is that I, um, you know, want to make sure they're on the order I did it when I put them back on my shelf, because I'm just a little OCD about that. Little OCD. Fuck you if you hate this movie, unless you have some legitimate reasons for it besides saying, it's anti white. If you watch it, it's really not. Plus, anti-white is bullshit. Fuck you. Yeah, sorry, just... Oh, boy. Troll comments from one video I did. Troll. Fucking troll comments. Great movie. It's funny. It's on my top ten of 2014. It's like a Woody Allen movie meets early Spike Lee. It's truly great. Truly, truly great. And I'm selfish with the ultraviolet code codes that I like them. I like my ultraviolet codes. It's my fresh. My fresh. Is it good? 
got. Luke Besson, Fun Time, Lucy. I rewatched this. And I gotta admit, it's a lot better the second time than the first. It really, well, I lowered my expectations. So I was kind of in the right mindset for this film, finally. Once again, Universal, put some fucking discard on your, deep, on your movies. Please. Thank you very much. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about this movie is I really feel, well, this and the new Ghost in the Shell movie, yes, I'm pumped to see what Scarlet does with the character. It's whitewashing, it's whitewashing. One, fuck you. Okay, never mind. You know what, if you don't like Scarlett Johansson, please explain why in the comments. I personally have always thought she's a great actress. Even in some of her more mediocre roles, I thought she always did a pretty damn good job. Now. I'm excited to see what she does with Goes in the Shell. Plus, this is this and Goes in the Shell are going to be the only things to substitute for a Black Widow movie for quite some time. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> I'm sad now. I'm sad. Drive. Steelbook. Drive Steelbook. Steelbook of Drive. Steelbook of, of Drive. Drive of, of the steel book. So we'll see not on, on here except the pink background. There's nothing on here except a pink background. So yeah, there's nothing really to it. Movie's fucking great by the way. I love the artwork on this. Really pops out. And it really looks great on the shelf. And this is a great film all around. People said the second time around they had to really get into this. First time viewing. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite noir type movies of all time. I want to see Only God Forgives just to give it a chance because, you know, well, we're around for life said and it's not like um, Drive. It probably sucks, but maybe I'll like it or I'll hate it. This is Luke Besson at his best. I think this is his best film, arguably. He's writing his element. See, I think a lot of problems I have, or most people have with Luke Besson's films is probably his scripts, but I think this, Lucy and the Fifth Element, they're good examples of him handling his own craft, of him knowing the types of stories he likes to write, and handling it gracefully, and doing a great job. Love that steel book. It looks fucking great on the shelf. Elysium, I enjoy this movie. I was totally surprised by it. It's not, not a bad film. Now Sony is really good with this, I think, in terms of their color, in terms of their artwork. I love that. Looks pretty badass. Now, did I have some problems with Elysium? Maybe you could argue it's a little too generic at points, but hey, it's a fun time. You know, that's all I'm going to leave it at right now. I'm going to go put this back. Her fucking masterpiece. I haven't seen this really. But, it is a really great film. And once again, starring a woman who will never be my wife. By the way, I don't know what the fuck happened. But, this thing got so fucked up in shipping. It's ridiculous. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. You know, if this really bothers me, I just chuck this case and replace it, because I do have replacement cases, and I might do that. If this really gets bad, I really might consider doing that, because I got on my bottom for that reason. And now, I've got to do this. Okay, I don't have a glass, but I'm going to try to reenact it. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. I can't do the rest of it. But holy fuck, A Clockwork Orange is my favorite Stanley Kubrick movie. This beats the shit out of Eyes Wide Shut. I've seen it twice and I fucking love it. I think I like it a lot because it's certainly the most fast paced of Kubrick's filmography, I think, of the ones I've seen. Maybe he's on a faster paced film, but man. Alex the Large. 
one of the greatest anti-heroes of all time, if not the greatest. Well, Tony Montana kind of gives him a run for his money, but fucking Alex the Large, man. And in this beautiful, beautiful video book. Although I did have some issues with my copy, I'm going to probably stick around with it. Two, two disc set. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, you're probably going to see a DVD update video, which is not going to be as big as a Blu-ray update. Because, um, I think my goal is for the year, for 2015, to try to get more, um, Blu-rays. Did this just get dented? Fuck! Oops, so pay more attention. And of course, you can't conclude without the legend and greatness of it. Birdman! In this awesome subcover, that kinda reminds me of the Fight Club one. Interestingly enough, it's done by the same companies, specifically this one that did Fight Club. And this movie is arguably Michael Keaton's best movie that he's ever done to date. And I cannot wait to see what this director does, cause he is a really great director, and I love Birdman, he is awesome, he is awesome, yay, please forgive me for that burnt outburst of insanity, I've lost my mind, I apologize, so anyway, may as well show you guys this, absolutely fucking beautiful steelbook from Best Buy of of, of Mocking Jay Part 1. I haven't seen this movie yet, but I'm gonna marathon these with the first one and the second one. I mean, look at that. That is so eloquent. I mean, I think I'm gonna do this for Steelbooks from now on, but look at that. That's This was 20 bucks. I shit you not. The same price as your standard Blu ray release. And now look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love this. It encompasses everything badass about the character of Cat has ever made. It's just so great. And my copy called. And then they show you the books. You can buy them. <laughs> I love that. No, I'm serious. I love that. Can't wait to see how it ends. Read it now. Clever. No, I'm serious. That is clever. And it comes with a DVD copy, which some people call the coaster. I call the travel copy. And the Blu ray, which is the same disc art. And then we got Katniss, looking like a badass Amazon warrior. Fucking love Katniss. She's one of my favorite female characters of all time. And she is the anti Bella Swan. Meaning, oh, she has a love triangle. It's teen drama bullshit. Wrong. Sure, she's got her teen drama bullshit. Maybe this is kind of targeted towards that, but it breaks the gender barrier. That's what I like about these films. It's not the greatest thing ever. And yes, Battle Royale certainly curb stomps all these movies, the original. I haven't seen the second one yet, but nevertheless, I love the steelbook. I love it. Um, Yeah, you can just get back to the rest if you need to. That's my long awaited, overdue Blu ray update of 2000. Uh, 15. So, yeah. Live long and prosper. Two thumbs up. And hope you like the look. I'm bored, and I guess I like my hoodie. It's a nice hoodie. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and whatever.